everybody, this is Melanie from Courtney Lane Designs, and today I'm going to talk to you about our new die sets that we have <clears throat> at Close to My Heart, and um, how they relate to the coordinating stamp sets, and how to use them, how to put them through your machine, and how to stamp. Okay, first let's talk about how they come. This is what sets us apart from a lot of other people who are our companies selling these kinds of items. When you buy our stamp sets, this is what you get. Everybody, you know, you've had this before. You guys bought these. It's in a nice little case. They're clear stamps. Very durable, easy to store because it stores flat. Well, the dies come in this packaging, which is the exact same thing. And um, so you can store them together side by side. You don't have to come up with some, you know, clever storage from Pinterest or anything like that. It is... On, comes on a magnetic sheet like this and it's easy to store no big deal you just um, take them off the magnetic sheet when you use them put them back on slot them in there and you're done so that's it okay so let's use some of the dies I'm going to use my cuddle bug and that's what I've always used I like a cuddle bug it, um, it it's just it's small it doesn't take up a ton of space, and it's durable. Um, okay, so you need an A plate, an A plate, you need a C plate, which you buy separately. And see, you can see these are lovingly used. Um, that's okay. You don't have to have one that is perfect. I've had this from the beginning, and it cuts just fine. So... I know some people, you know, panic about that kind of stuff. Don't. It's a waste of time to panic about the state of your, your plates. Okay. Then I'm going to add the piece of paper that I'm going to cut. Let's see. Let me just... It's a scratch piece, so it doesn't really matter. And then I'd put my dies on. Let's see. We're going to cut these. I'm using the cactus set. This is what it looks like. It's called Stuck on You. I used it last week. I really love this set. It's um, it's really on trend and super cute. And um, I've got my dies laid on there. Now I'm going to put my B plate. Flip it. Put my B plate. No, I'm not <laughs> on top. And then I'm just gonna run it through the machine. Really easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. Now I'm going to move my kettle bug, and here are my cuts. So they pop out really easy, and then to get them out of the dies, it's a simple pop. <clears throat> like that. Alright, now, and I would just use tweezers or your fingernail to get out little bits like that. It's not a big deal. Okay, so we're going to stamp on them using the coordinating stamp set. Oh, let me show you. Look at this. This is so great. So, this is my next sheet. Eh. Eh. And they're all together. You don't have to buy anything else. I mean, this is, this is always great when things come like that and they're independent and you don't have to buy additional things to make them work. All right, so I'm going to use black ink so you can see because um, I normally, I like doing tone on tone a whole lot. Um, you could do um, anything really. I mean, you could do um, heat emboss, whatever, but I'm going to do black because it's going to be easy for you guys to see. So I'm just going to put my stamp on a block. I'm going to ink up my stamped, or my, um, Little stamped image there and then I'm just going to plunk it down right on top and because these are clear stamps it's easy to see what you're doing it's not going to be a guessing game on where I put this down like some other companies that have um, wooden blocks or whatever it's a little harder to know where to put things are I mean I don't need to bring out again another tool so I know how to get this exactly on. So this little cute cactus. 
See that? This is so easy. I've already got images. You see that? That really quick stamp, roll it through, stamp it, and I'm, I'm rocking and rolling. And we'll do one more. And it'll line it up, plunk it down. And there we go. So I've got these three wonderful images of cactus, or cacti, if you will. And it was really easy to do, it didn't take long. So now I can decorate these, pop them on the front of a card or a layout, and I'm ready to go. The way we've got this set up is that it is as easy as using the Cricut in a lot of ways. Now I would never give my Cricut up for anything, but this is a great substitute. Something that, you know, this is easy if you go camping and you go crafting and don't laugh. People do that. People take their stuff and that's part of relaxing. They go to the lake or whatever. This would be an easy thing to take because you definitely don't need the internet or anything. All right, guys. Well, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. As always, you can check out projects daily at CourtneyLane.com. Have a great one, everybody. Oh, oh, oh.